Hi there. I'm Carol Burnett. I certainly didn't set out to make history, but back in 1967, I was lucky enough to be the first woman on television to host her own comedy variety show. And in the 11 years that followed, we welcomed a lot of historic women to Studio 33. And we had a few behind the scenes as well. It's pretty rare in life that you get to meet one of your idols. And it's even more rare when that person becomes your mentor and your friend. Well, it happened to me. I was lucky enough to call Lucille Ball my friend. (laughs) Why not? We've been rehearsing all afternoon. (laughs) See you later, Carol. It's my own fault. I had a choice between her and Phyllis Diller. (laughs) Obviously, Lucy was a brilliant comedian, and she had a lot of experience running a TV show with her husband, like I was doing in those early days of The Carol Burnett Show. She gave me advice and said, Kid, she always called me Kid, (laughs) if you ever need me, give me a call. Well, I called her, and we ended up working together quite a bit, and she was a guest that I always looked forward to. Oh, I can't see anyone now. I can't. I just can't. It's a man. Open the door. (laughs) Lucy used to send me flowers every year on my birthday. Sadly, in 1989, she died on my birthday, and that afternoon... I got flowers from Lucy, and the card said, Happy birthday, kid. Shout Factory and The Carol Burnett Show celebrate great women in TV history, like Lucille Ball. What did you think I'm from Havana? Well, if there's one thing I know, sir, it's a Cuban accent. (laughs) 